We have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Priala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orle falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Selene's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Selene outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of saboteurs at her command. <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out. The Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Selene's court. Even if a lie. Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Selene is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Herods. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. You've given me plenty to think about. With Gaspard and Selene's armies entrenched, we cannot openly march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word, and we'll begin. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lady Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Ostwick Circle of Magi. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. He is so full of it. That's not how it went. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. 
<laughs> Did you see their faces? <gasps> Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Lord Dorian Pavus, member of the Circle of Arantium, son of Lord Magister Hallwood Pavus of Azariel, Warden Blackwall of Valshaven, Constable of the Grey, bearer of the Silver Right Wings of Valor. Her ladyship, my balls each, of course. <laughs> Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Honley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, veteran of the Fifth Blight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and left hand of the Divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Did you just grab my bottom? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Can I get you a drink, Commander Cullen? No, thank you. You must dance with me, Commander. We cannot stand about all evening. I'm afraid not. Thank you. Smile, Commander. You're so handsome when you smile. He is just as handsome when he doesn't. Are you married, Commander? Not yet, but I am already taken. Still single, then? Commander, has anyone ever told you that you have the most remarkable eyes? Several times this evening, actually. You have such beautiful hair, Commander. Thank you. I would love to hear about your time in Kirkwall. Another time, perhaps. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Not yet. It would be easier if people would stop talking to me. And other people, not you. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. There are a few here we can trust. Be careful. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlais needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. Not enjoying the attention, then? Hardly. Anyway, yours... <laughs> yours is the only attention worth having. I don't suppose you'd save a dance for me? No, thank you. Oh. No, I, I didn't mean to... Well, make his breath. I've answered that question so many times, I'm rejecting it automatically. I'm not one for dancing. The Templars never attended balls. We'll talk later. I await your scene. You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters, where I found a group of Venatori, and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais? More than that. Whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard. 
provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We owe the court one more show, Your Grace. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Selene, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds. All your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspar, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspar? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. There you are. Everyone's been looking for you. Things have calmed down for the moment. Are you all right? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been very long. For all of us, I'm glad it's over. I know it's foolish, but I was worried for you tonight. I may never have another chance like this, so I must ask. May I have this dance, my lady? Of course. I thought you didn't dance. For you, I'll try. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails. But the indifference to it all. At least there was dancing. <laughs> or an attempt at it, anyway. I thought you did well. Well, I'm grateful for your poor taste in dance partners. That's all for now. Another time, then.